Hi, this is Kevin from WebAnalyticsLand.com, and recently someone asked me, when's the best time to use the scatterplot graph chart type or the bubble graph chart type in a report? Great question. And the answer I like to give is these are the graph types you want to use when trying to visualize the relationship of multiple metrics in a single report. Now typically these are not similar metrics but relationship metrics. A couple examples of a relationship metric will be something like orders and revenue, visits and unique visitors, or page views and visits. The scatterplot graph type will display two metrics in the chart giving you an idea of how the metrics relate to one another. Looking at this report, we have the two metrics of page views and visits. Initially looking at this report, we can see a couple things stand out to us. First of all, we see this one item way up on its own, and another item pretty high up on its own. Now I would expect that these two would be out on their own, having a very high number of page views and a very high number of visits. These two pages represent my product pages and my search results pages, so I would expect them to have the most traffic. But the interesting thing about this report is this one other page which doesn't really fall into the rest of the group. This page seems to have a high number of visits, or at least a higher number of visits than the rest of the, the pages of the site, but not very many page views compared to my search results pages or my products pages yet it does have a higher number of page views than the rest of the site. Using the scatterplot graph, I can easily isolate which items do not fall in line with the rest of the items in the report. Now if I add in a third metric to the report and change the chart type to the bubble graph, that could possibly give me a little more insight as to why this one item seems to not really fall in line with the rest of the items in the report. Adding in the third metric to this report, the metric I added was entries, that is now displayed by the size of the bubble using a bubble graph chart. Here you can see that one page that kind of stood out on its own, you can see it, it has the largest bubble out of every item here, representing that this page has the highest amount of entries of all the pages of my site. This would explain why this page has such a high number of visits, but not really as many page views as I would expect it to have. Using the scatterplot graph chart type, and the bubble graph chart type allows you to gain quick insight into the data and the relationship between the metrics. This is a great way to see where patterns exist and where items might fall outside of normal patterns.